This is our land, where I spend hours of my life. We grow wheat, barley, vegetables, herbs and fruit. I think about seeds and plants a lot, learning nature's laws, and this seeps into the studio and into my paintings. Or I spend time roaming around in the wild, arriving home with foraged food and objects, both natural and man-made. This is my thinking time, planning paintings, emptying my head. When the sun goes down, I head into town, a strange and characterful place, where I have my studio. Sometimes I like working at night, when all is quiet, and I'm really alone, and no one can disturb me. Once inside, I feel I enter another world, a place where I can dream and invent, cut off from the outside. My studio is full of stuff, in various states of decay, my finds from a lifetime of collecting and pilfering. This is where I prepare my pigments and inks from minerals and plants that I find locally. I have a lot of space in my studio. I need the space because I like working on 10 plus paintings at the same time. I have an idea for a new painting, a fresco. I have this plant that I found on the land, it's now dried in the studio, a weed. And I'm holding it against a photo of a taken in, Pomp in um, Nap Napoli of an ancient Roman fresco. Yes, I really like it. So now to prepare the false wall. I'm laying plaster, a mixture of sand and lime, onto the false wall to give a smooth surface and a base. Then I layer up newspaper and hessian sandwiched with layers of lime. This enables me to take the fresco off the false wall and mount it on something much lighter once it is dry. The fresco will actually be attached to the hessian layer. Now a very fine layer of sand and internico on top of the hessian, press deeply into the hessian and the final coat will be a marble dust and lime layer which will give me a really fine surface. This is the surface that I'm going to paint onto. I'm going to mark out the size of the painting. This will help with framing and mounting afterwards. I'm cutting away the plaster back to the hessian to give the painting an edge. I've made some vine black pigment. I'm going to use this for the background, which I've made from cuttings from our own vines. I'm going to use cadmium red as the red pigment. The Romans certainly didn't use this. They would have used cinnabar and made a synthetic vermilion. So I'll start with the dark background. I want to create darkness behind the bright colors. And I'm wiping away the pigment so that I create some kind of texture. I want the piece to feel like an old Roman wall. The fresco will take about a month to dry completely before I can take it off the false wall. I'm working horizontally now because I like to work quite wet with the pigments which is impossible if it is still up on the easel. Once the fresco is completely dry I will work the flower and the plant, the dried plant onto the painting in another medium. Finishing touches, just making the surface marked and textured. 
the final decisions because this will now turn to stone and nothing can be changed. Yes, I like it. This is the base for my painting. The painting will be at the Thackeray this autumn.